Hi folks, what's up? Nothing's left there. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make an origami flower which turns into a mouth. Could be used by like this, it's a little smaller. And there's another one. It's best if you maybe spread a little up in there. There's that mouth. Looks funny, huh? But first, I'm going to show you how to make the magical water bomb base. This is not any own water bomb base, but this a magical water bomb base. So I'm going to show you how to make this first, and then, well, if you're making this, you only need one sheet of paper. You want to follow this direction because we need to make this, and then we can fold this. So um, I'm first going to show you how to fold this. If you're making both of these, you need two sheets of paper. So ready, set, here it goes. Okay, so for these models, I use a sheet of Kalani, Um, But first, I'm going to show you the paper I use. I use a sheet of paper that looks like this. Now, okay, so for this model, I use a sheet of Kalani cut into a piece of paper that looks like this. But first, I'm going to show you how to make it out of, from a sheet of um, square sheet of paper. I use Kalani again. So here it goes. So you want to begin with the sheet of Kami. I mean, it's the best use. And then you want to fold in half, make really good creases. Unfold and fold one edge to the center. And unfold this, rotate, and then you want to fold this edge to the center. And unfold. Now you want to turn it over and then you want to fold it to the center again on one of them, not both of them, only on one. And then you want to repeat a few times. So I'm going to rip this strip off because we only need a sheet of paper that looks like, well, this. And there. And now to rip it, you just want to make a little rip right here, that. And then it's like there's a little mountain right here. And then pull, like, well, just to make sure your hands pull apart. And then you should get a sheet of paper that looks like this. It's in thirds. Thirds. And, yeah. Now, if you're using a sheet of Kami, you want to begin white side up. If you want the inside of this to be colored, you want to begin color side up. But if you want the inside to be, like, white and then the outside to be colored, you want to begin white side up. So, here it goes. Now you want to fold diagonally, like this. We're not exactly making a water bomb base, but it's close. Because we're making a magical water bomb base. Oh, that's bad. Um, let me try it this way. This might work for you guys, too. No, this might be better. Okay, and unfold. Now, if it looks like this, you're good. And then you want to repeat on the other side. And unfold. Turn it over and fold in half. Turn it, unfold and turn it back over so it looks like this. Now here comes the tricky for you, but if you want it to be easier, you want to turn it back over and fold in half the other direction. Well, that's a bad fold. Okay, and unfold. Now, if you see a little square right here, you're good. But now, here it goes. Now to make the magical water bomb base, you just want to fold on these two parts. And do like, like this. And then if you, and then you want to basically squash this. Well not especially squash it actually first. Um and then now you wanna keep this valley fold on the this. and then you wanna do it over here like this and then like that and squash it 
might be a little hard to squash on this one, the best of you. Wrestle in the slap and open these two flaps down. And here's the magical water bomb base. Now, here's how the magical water bomb base, a lot of different uses. First, it could be a little mountain, and then second can be a little mouth right here. Third, also a little mouth. And then I've been trying to make this into a catapult, but it's like, here's the best one. You just like the, the part where you put the stuff and then whoosh, not so cool, but still it's close. And if you want to make it into this, here it goes. So as you can see, you have third marks right here. It's best if you repeat these holes again on each both sides. If you see a little square here, that should be the third mark. Unfold, turn over and repeat. And unfold. Now here comes the little tricky part. Um, so you want to make a fold like this, only one flap. Turn over and make this flap. Oh wait, let me show you guys how to make something first. Um, so first, um, if you want a bow tie for this, I'm gonna show you how to make it into this first. And then so you want to fold of this part and double squash. I don't know why it's called double squash, but I like to call it that. So you want to begin like this and flatten. This is something you might want to make first. And there's another mouth. I like this mouth too. But you want to pull on both sides. You can't just pull on one side. Might be a little hard to put it back. Um, but if you're, again, if you want to make this, you want to unfold this part. So, so that's okay because, well, yeah. Okay, so now here comes the tricky part. So you want to lift this flap up on this existing crease. And then now you want to squash this just like that. First you want to make this fold. And then you don't want to do anything here yet, but you want to hold this flap back all the way over here. Like that, probably, it's best. And flatten. And fold this edge to this edge and squash. And then you want to repeat those steps on this side. So again, lift this flap up, squash this part like, uh, like this, and then pull this edge up to this edge and flatten, pull this edge up to this edge and squash or flatten. Now it should look like that. Now here's another mouse. Do you like it this? Like, but this I made teeth like this, and then, but if you like it this way, here it is. Looks like that. Okay, so now if you want it to be like this, here it goes. So, like this, you want to just point to be facing up. Then you want to fold this to the center. And the side. And repeat behind. So... What happened? Oh, it's okay. Fold this up and this up. It's like you're folding a little paper airplane. And then now, here it goes. And now you want to make a lot of reverse folds. So, one reverse fold right here. That. So, we have this little flap right there. And one little reverse fold right here. And repeat behind. And if you want it to be a little easier, you can fold this here and then reverse fold it. That might be a little easier for some of you. But so I'm just okay with this rule. And repeat it on this side. So it should look like this. And then if you open up the mouth, it should look like this. Now you want to just keep reverse folding it. But you don't want to go like this all the way to here or all the way different. So first you want to reverse fold on these parts. Wait. You might want to be better like this maybe? Yeah. It's okay if you get a, like a little mistake because, well, this monster's teeth probably isn't so perfect.
Now, again, it should look like this. And then another reverse fold. One more. And then the last one, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Well, probably, you guys already figured it out. Let me first do these ones. And now the feet should look like this, with like the little elephant nose. And then you wanna do it right this. And then the teeth is done. And now if you want the teeth to be like this, I'm gonna show you how. So it's best, you could just do it right away, but it won't be look so perfect, because you want two folds first. You want to first flatten, and then you want to fold this edge up to that part. And then on this side, and repeat behind. And then if you want that to be, again, like this, it's best if you want to open up these flaps, and chop, chop. Okay, so it should look like this. Hope you liked it. See you next time.